name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So I know it's I'm been a Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. All right, so I know it's been a... Whoa! I've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, I just looked in at my money and saw that I got that much. I'm pretty sure we didn't have that much last time. But, um, so guys, I know it's been a while uh, since we've played this game, but um, the reason is because, um, so my game, like, you know how I was talking about it was really buggy, um, it was, like, crashing often? Yeah, so it crashed. I was, like, my computer crashed. Um, yeah, so I was, like, I just restarted it. Um, I went back on the game, no saves at all. Just exactly no saves. But there was a thing that said continued because I, but like that was weird because like there was like no saves. So how, how is it continued? So I went back on it. I went like on the continued and um, it was just nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was just a black screen. Like, there wasn't even one tree, bro. Or one piece of grass. Just absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I was like, might as well restart it. Let's focus on what you're here to do. Which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Okay, um. You'll need to connect it to the pre existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. <laughs> Begins the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, Mom. genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos. Okay, All shut up already, a bro. Living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, and now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. Bro, I st The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and Oh, science. I really have to do this first? I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. 
choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Um... Dr. Dua, this is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the Science Division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the Science Division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. Wait, what is that this? That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Dude, I still can't do this. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Yes, yes. They're, um... People think money makes the world go round, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go round, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us, and to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well... That's what I mean. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. No. Together, we can create a more authentic okay, version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Alright, so I do know a little bit more of this game. So, yeah. Because, yeah, the AC is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs. And there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Alright, so an ACU center, basically, um, this helicopter. Tranquil um, tranquilizes um, dinosaurs and then uh, the transport team picks them up and brings them to places or sells them. Um, you can just add a task or you can actually fly the helicopter. Yeah. So basically all you have to do is see, I'll show you. Um, so we go over in there, dinosaur, and yeah, you see that um, tranquilizer dart on top of him. Our key there is shooting. Um, um, I didn't want to pick security because um, uh, the security do one of the tasks. Uh, at the, I mean, contracts at the beginning is to, um, send one of, uh, where, um, forgot the name of the dinosaur. Yeah, 
yeah, one of these dudes, um, free, and to get this dude, like, he, uh, free for, like, attacking people, and then, um, and then a drill, what no one else knows a drill except for the ACU center, and the ACU center just, um, basically just, you should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you what? have to create dinosaurs. Did we have this in our fossil center before? Because I am pretty the sure we did not. center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Because... Exciting! Because I'm pretty sure, like, your fossils, like, save. But... Like, I'm pretty sure, like, we did not have this, but, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, do some of this, you know? Let's um trace our thoughts. Wait, do we have a fossil center? Oh, I guess I'll keep it. Usually, like, um, I like, I, like, I really want to demolish this because, like, it just gives you money money and it's basically useless except for um upgrades because all you have to do to get your fossils is go over here but upgrades are good because you make one but like i think one's like more space or something like that um Remember, science is why we are all here, and this contract helps me advance our research. Take it, and we'll both get what we want. Oh yeah, this is a bad I'm thing Claire about. Daring, um, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. I, the bad thing about, um, um, triceratopses are they can't be in this pen or they'll kill everyone in that pen. Because, so yeah, they have to be in different pens. That's like basically the only bad thing. Oh, and they die, like, super fast.
We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm just spending too much money. Okay, hold up, how much is this? Oh no. Yeah, I'm definitely spending too much money. Okay, let's just wait here a while. So our money can go up and the output again. So. I've 
been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical. Dude, Isaac the obvious. sabotages. We need people in our hearts. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Isaac sabotages Not everything. Not sure what a genome is, when? but if it's new, I like it. So, is it new? Yes. Then it fits the bill. Okay, can't we do it? Okay, alright. Isaac sabotages everything when you're almost full with science. He is like, he just goes out there and the mo like, if you have like a bunch of hotels, he'll just sabotage the hotels. Like the most things you have in your park, he'll sabotage it. Except for like if it's um, dinosaur pens or something. But yeah, he'll just freaking sabotage everything. Um, did we get this research? Yes. Okay, um. Let's, uh. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Well, why is a dude from security, head of security, freaking trying to, like, bro, like, why, like, dude, he's trying to make a Triceratops attack rate go up when, what, what, when he... Like, it's obvious he would try to make it go down. Like, why? Oh, I'm so confused with this guy. Um, I am just gonna wait here for a while. Oh, maybe I'll just take uh, one of these dudes out.
matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. That's worth a reward. So we got a skin in. So yeah, guys. Um, let's check out this. Okay. Wait, do we have water in here? No, we don't. This contract can really help our bottom line. I've always considered myself a bit of an adventurer and a lot of a luxury hotel fan, huh? <laughs> so enjoy your time in the dirt. Oh, it's, um... Alright, um, now all we need is this dude, pilot. And all we gotta do is, right once this comes out, Still be able to see it because oh shit. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. Well In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand no. humans, so don't no. expect much in the way of thank yous. Okay. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest. 
And I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. Now we don't I'll even need... I'll discuss this with her later. Now we don't even need, um, uh, one of these centers. And that... Helicopter, you can't actually control this. Um, but that is gonna bring... Uh, the... The, um... Oh, what the frick? I, I can't remember the dinosaur name, bro. Triceratops over it was blue, blue um layers. Uh, yeah, let's see what so, this water's good. I mean, wetlands good. Forest could do some more grasslands, but then um. The Triceratops needs another one. So, yeah. Let's go to a research center. What do we need? Oh, geez. Oh, 
Oh yes. Um sorry the video was so short, but um I'ma go guys. Hope you guys have a good day and I'm gonna see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.